Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms. And we're trying to condense each expression to a single logarithm, but this one's a critical thinking question. So, let's try this one. 2 times parentheses log of 2x minus log of y minus parentheses log of 3 plus 2 log of 5. Okay. Well, this becomes a little tricky here. Okay. What I see is that 2, right, I'm going to hold off on that for a second. Okay? I'm going to see outside, outside the parentheses. I'm going to keep in mind that I'm going to try to condense each one of these as much as possible inside. We have log of 2x minus log of y. So if I can condense that, that's division, right? Because both logs the same base. We have 2 outside times now log, same base of 2x divided by y. Now, we have that subtracted by this one here, which we can condense through multiplication, minus, what is that, log of, uh, oops, yeah, well, excuse me, don't want to combine it first. We have the 2 power out there. That 2 goes to the 5th power, so we have a log of 3 here, but the 2 can come to the power of the 5, so plus log of 5 to the second power. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is well, this 2 right here out front, I can write that as the exponent of this right here, 2 the x over y, the whole thing. But I'm going to separate, it goes to both parts. If I'm taking this whole thing inside to the exponent, it has to go to both parts. So we have 2, or sorry, log here of, well, 2x all squared over y squared. And we're subtracting that minus, okay, minus here. Well, now I can condense this to be one logarithm minus log of 3 times 5 squared, okay? So let's try to simplify this a little bit because we have 3 times 5 squared right there, which we can simplify to be a real number, right? okay? And same thing with the squared, the 2 and the x, right? The 2x all squared. So when I rewrite this, I have log here. Of, well, 2x squared is the same thing as 4x squared over y squared minus the log of, well, 5 squared is uh, 25 times 3 would be uh, 75. So we have a log of 75 right here. So now we have, this one's tricky, okay? Log of 4x uh, squared over y squared minus log of 75. The way I like to write this, okay? To show what's going on, that's going to be division, same base, all right? But sometimes we get a little confused while well, we're dividing by dividing by dividing. So let me show it like this. We have log here, one big logarithm, 4x squared over y squared, divided by 75. Well, the divided by 75 is the same thing as multiplied by 1 over 75, right? So when I do that, when I think about that, okay, I'm going to transition over here, not equal, transition. Uh, I have a log, now log of 4x squared over y squared times 1 over 75. And so that I can rewrite right here to be one big expression, log of okay, well, 4x squared over 75y squared. And there we have it, our final answer here. After all that work, it's the log of parentheses 4x squared divided by 75y squared. So let's recap. We're given 2 times parentheses log of 2x minus log of y and parentheses minus log of 3 plus 2 log of 5 and parentheses. We need to condense that. Well, <clears throat> first thing I did was inside this parentheses, I wrote that to that subtraction to be a division. So we have 2x over y there. Here, I almost made a mistake if I multiply it first, but I brought that 2 to the power of 5. Uh, or 5 to the power of 2 first. Then from there, on this one here, since it's addition, I made that multiplication. And this one, I took the power of the 2 that's out front and made it put the power of both the numerator and the denominator. Now, I simplified both of them right here in this step here. So 2x squared became 4x squared, or 2, I'm sorry, 2x all squared became 4x squared. And then 3 times 5 squared was 75. Now from there, I condensed this to be one big logarithm, and I knew we had to do division. Now, to make sure we don't lose anything, I wrote it like this, log of 4x squared over y squared divided by 75. That makes it easier to see, okay, and then divide by 75, the same thing as multiply by 1 over 75. 
that helps me see that it's multiplied by 75 by y squared, the denominator, to give us, again, our final answer of log of 4x squared divided by 75y.